base section for Frankie Goes to Hollywood, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Now this, this record is produced by Trevor Horn, fantastic producer. And the, the bass line is not a real bass, it's, um, it's a sample. So these were the days where um, samplers just came in, you know, um, fair lights and all sorts of machines. So it's, it sounds like a kind of real bass sampled into a machine and then played on a keyboard. So that, that makes it kind of tricky for us to emulate exactly, you know, the feel and the, the way it's played. So, and the other thing is it's, it's really, you know, for instance, we're, we're playing a lot of octaves, E's and D's. And so the, the, the bass on the record is actually playing an octave lower. So, and that makes it really tricky unless you've got a five string. Um, you know, you could say, oh, well, I'll drop the tuning of the E to a D, but then the main other part of the song uses the open. You know, you really want to have an open E because you're kind of jumping up, so you don't want the E here and be flying about. So, basically, I'm just going to play it. And if some of the parts are going to be an octave higher. So we start, and there's, there's, there's all octaves. We're going to have the E on the seventh fret of the A string to the octave on the ninth fret of the G string. Then we're going to drop down a whole step to D, fifth fret. Now we're going to go to the B. Uh, on the second fret of the A string and play the octave. But we're going to put in an open E before. So you end up with this E, D, E, B. Have to be one, two, three, four. Then we're going to head to the A. Now I'm going to play, you can play this in all sorts of ways. Um, we're going to head to the A on the fifth fret. So that's going to be E, D, E, B, A. And it's going to go A and then D. And that, that's going to be the first half. So. Again. Yeah, I'll show you the little taps after. And then the next bit is pretty much the same. We're going to go all the way down, same to the B. Now we've played this E, B in the octave. We're going to play another high note, another high B, and then octaves D, E flat, back. So that's going to sound like this. So this happens a lot. You do doubles on this this sort of chromatic run, so you end up with this. Now we could I could go to the D the B here. That makes it slightly easier, but I'm liking the sound of this. There's the G, I'm getting more consistency. So, but if I did it the B, here B. Slightly easier, but I prefer the sound. Yeah. Okay, so that's 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 the part. I'll put the two bits together. So one, two, three, four.
Okay, so you see now I've started adding a few taps. Uh, the bass line's actually quite straight, but it's quite nice to kind of So yeah, if I'm doing thumb taps when I play the A. So there yeah, I'm playing double tap A. Yeah, so double tap A octave tap and then a D. Sound like that. When I play it, I actually instead of doing all taps each time, I'm playing some lefts. So it'd be, I'm basically replacing those with a left. So instead of sliding That's it. Maybe play it very slowly. One, two, three, four. Thank you.